Ever wondered how to answer the tricky questions in a job interview? Well, you're not alone. Welcome to our video series where we tackle the toughest job interview questions and give you the tools to respond with confidence. In this episode, we're going to explore the world of job interviews. We'll explore the types of questions you might face and provide you with practical, actionable strategies for crafting responses that will impress any hiring manager. But this isn't just about memorizing the right answers. It's about understanding the thought process behind these questions and learning how to articulate your skills and experiences in a meaningful way. This approach will not only help you ace your next job interview, but also give you valuable insights into your own strengths and areas for improvement. So let's dive into the world of job interviews, where every answer counts. First of all, how do you handle stress and pressure in the workplace? It's a question that can leave many of us fumbling for words, but it's also an opportunity to show potential employers how, how we navigate challenging situations. In any professional environment, stress can be considered as inevitable as the Monday morning coffee run. It's not something we can entirely avoid, but rather something we need to manage effectively. Acknowledging that stress is a part of any job is the first step in demonstrating your resilience and adaptability. You're not pretending to be a superhero impervious to pressure, but a real person who can handle it with grace and efficiency. Having a strategy for managing stress is as crucial as having a business plan or a project timeline. It's about understanding what triggers stress for you and then putting measures in place to mitigate those triggers. This could be as simple as taking time to organize your tasks at the start of the day, or it might involve more complex strategies like mindful meditation or regular exercise. Remember, the key here is to show that you have a proactive approach to managing stress rather than just reacting to it when it hits. It's not just about surviving under pressure, but thriving in spite of it. But how do you demonstrate this in an interview? The answer lies in providing a specific example of a stressful situation you faced in the past. Describe the scenario, the challenges it presented, and the actions you took to manage the situation. Highlight the outcome, and particularly any positive results that came from your actions. This could be meeting a deadline, resolving a conflict, or overcoming a particularly challenging obstacle. Lastly, don't forget to reflect on what you learned from the experience. This shows that you're not just a problem solver, but also a learner, continually growing and adapting to new challenges. Remember, handling stress is about maintaining performance and professionalism under challenging circumstances. It's about showing potential employers that you're not just capable of doing the job, but doing it well, even when the pressure is on. Now let's look at how to structure your response to this question. First, acknowledge that stress is a part of any job. It's crucial to show your potential employer that you understand the inevitable presence of stress in a professional environment and that you're not immune to it. This creates a realistic picture of your understanding of the working world. Next, describe your approach to stress. This could include time management strategies, prioritization techniques, breaking tasks down into smaller parts, or even relaxation techniques like mindfulness. Remember to tailor your approach to the job you're applying for. This shows that you have a toolbox of strategies ready 
to deploy when stress does rear its head. Then provide a specific example of a stressful situation you faced in the past. Keep the description brief, focusing on your role and the challenges you faced. This helps to make your answer more relatable and concrete, showing the interviewer that you're not just talking theory, but have actually put your strategies into action. Now explain the specific actions you took to manage the stressful situation. This could include how you reorganized your workload, sought help from colleagues, or used relaxation techniques to stay calm. It's important to show that you're not just passively enduring stress, but actively managing it. Then highlight the outcome of your actions. Ideally, this should demonstrate a positive result, such as meeting a tight deadline, resolving a conflict, or achieving a goal. This shows the interviewer that your stress management strategies are effective and lead to tangible results. Finally, reflect on what you learned from the experience. This shows the interviewer that you're not just going through the motions, but are always seeking to grow and improve. You could mention how this experience has equipped you to handle similar situations in the future, showing that you're not just reactive, but proactive in your approach to stress management. Remember, the key to answering this question effectively is relevance. Make sure your example is relevant to the job you're applying for. This not only shows the interviewer that you're able to handle stress, but also provides insight into your problem solving and decision making skills. And that's how you craft an impactful answer that demonstrates your ability to handle stress. Moving on, how do you handle disagreements at work? Disagreements in the workplace are inevitable. They can stem from a variety of sources, such as differences in perspectives, ideas, or even personal values. However, how you handle these disagreements can significantly impact your professional relationships and overall work environment. In handling disagreements at work, it's crucial to approach the situation professionally and constructively. Your goal should not be to win the argument, but rather to reach a solution that is beneficial to everyone involved. This means putting aside personal biases and focusing on the bigger picture. Open communication is key in resolving disagreements at work. If you disagree with a decision, it's important to express your concerns in a respectful and constructive manner. This involves clearly articulating your point of view, providing valid reasons for your stance, and also being open to hearing and understanding the perspectives of others. Understanding is another vital component in dealing with disagreements. This involves empathy and recognizing that everyone has unique perspectives and experiences that shape their decisions. By understanding where others are coming from, you can better appreciate their viewpoints and work towards a compromise. Compromise, in turn, is a valuable tool in resolving disagreements. It's about finding common ground and working together to reach a solution that everyone can agree on. It may mean making concessions, but remember that the objective is to achieve a positive outcome that benefits the organization as a whole. In answering an interview question about disagreements at work, it's important to demonstrate these key principles. Your answer should reflect your ability to handle conflicts professionally, communicate effectively, understand differing perspectives, and work towards a compromise. Remember to provide a specific example where you applied these principles and the positive outcome that resulted. Dealing with disagreements 
isn't about winning or losing. It's about finding a solution that benefits everyone. So next time you find yourself in a disagreement at work, remember these tips and approach the situation with professionalism, open communication, understanding, and compromise. Now let's dissect how to answer this question effectively. When an interviewer asks you about a time when you disagreed with a decision at work, they are interested in understanding your conflict resolution and communication skills. Here's a guide to structure your response. Describe the situation. Start by outlining a specific instance when you disagreed with a decision at work. It could be a change in strategy, a new policy, or a project direction that you didn't agree with. You. In my previous role, management decided to implement a new software system that I believed was not suitable for our needs. I was concerned it would lead to inefficiencies and a decline in productivity. Explain your perspective. Detail why you disagreed with the decision. Show that your disagreement was based on logical reasoning and not personal bias. You. I had researched and worked with similar systems in the past and knew that this particular one had limitations that would affect our workflow. Discuss your actions. Talk about how you expressed your disagreement and the steps you took to address the situation. You. I voiced my concerns to my supervisor, presenting my research and proposing an alternative solution. I also offered to be a part of the team, evaluating different software systems. Highlight the outcome. Discuss what happened as a result of your actions. It's okay if the final decision didn't go your way. What's important is how you handled the situation. You. While the management decided to proceed with their original choice, they appreciated my feedback and involved me in the implementation process to help mitigate potential issues. Reflect on learning. Finally, share what you learned from the experience and how you might handle similar situations in the future. You. This experience taught me the importance of voicing concerns in a constructive manner and the value of being adaptable, even when decisions don't go my way. Remember, the goal is to demonstrate your ability to handle disagreements professionally, maintain open lines of communication, and work towards a common goal, even when faced with challenges. This approach to answering the question about disagreements at work not only shows your capacity to handle conflict, but also provides insight into your critical thinking and problem-solving abilities. Moreover, it illustrates your commitment to the overall success of the organization, even when your perspective differs from others. Remember, it's not about winning or losing an argument. It's about showing that you can navigate differences of opinion, provide constructive feedback, and work collaboratively for the benefit of the team and the organization. And that, my friends, is how you show your ability to handle disagreements professionally. So there you have it, a guide to answering two common but tricky job interview questions. Let's quickly recap what we've covered in this video. Firstly, we delved into understanding the essence of these questions. When interviewers ask about handling stress or dealing with disagreements, they're interested in your problem-solving skills, your ability to stay calm under pressure, and your interpersonal skills. It's not just about what you say, but also how you say it. Next, we discussed how to structure your responses. A well-crafted answer has a clear beginning, middle, and end. It starts with acknowledging the situation, 
followed by describing your approach and ends with the outcome and what you learned. This structure helps your answer flow smoothly and makes it easier for the interviewers to follow. Then we emphasize the importance of providing specific, relevant examples. Rather than speaking in generalities, use concrete instances from your past experience to illustrate your points. This makes your answer more credible and allows the interviewer to visualize you in the role. Finally, we highlighted the need to keep your responses relevant to the job you're applying for, tailor your examples and strategies to the requirements of the position. This shows that you understand the role and can adapt your skills to meet its demands. Now it's over to you. Practice your answers to these and other common job interview questions. Remember, the more you practice, the more confident you'll feel during the real thing. And don't forget to prepare questions of your own to ask the interviewer. This shows your interest in the role and gives you a chance to assess if the job is a good fit for you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. We regularly post content on job interviews, career advice, and personal development. Remember, the key to a successful job interview is preparation. So practice your answers, stay confident, and you'll ace that interview in no time. Before we wrap things up, we want to remind you of the value of being part of our channel community. If you found this video helpful, we encourage you to engage with us. Click that like button to let us know that you appreciate our content. It helps us to understand what kind of content is beneficial for our viewers. Share this video with your friends who might be preparing for job interviews. It could be the resource they need to land their dream job. And most importantly, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We regularly post videos on topics like job interviews, career advice, and personal development. By subscribing, you'll be among the first to get access to our latest content. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. It ensures you won't miss any of our videos. Remember, engaging with our channel not only supports us, but it also provides you with valuable resources for your career journey. So like, share, and subscribe today. We look forward to being a part of your success. Let's touch upon another crucial aspect of engaging with our channel, the notification button. If you have subscribed to our channel, we encourage you to also hit that notification button. It's usually right next to the subscribe button and looks like a little bell. Why is this so important, you ask? Well, by pressing the notification button, you are ensuring that you're always in the loop. You'll be among the first to know when we upload a new video. This way, you can continue to learn and grow with us without missing a beat. Our channel covers a wide range of topics, and we're sure you won't want to miss out on any of them. So make sure to press that notification button. Be the first to get the latest tips and tricks and stay ahead in your career journey. Remember, every little bit of knowledge counts and we're here to provide you with that. So don't forget to press the notification button. We promise it will be worth it.